Hello everybody, it's SCD Mad Haven here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Carnarvon Action X, also known as the Paladin. Now, this is a Tier 8 Premium British that was released in the game quite some time ago. In my opinions, it stands up extremely well inside the matchmaking. It does have a little bit of a lacking haul armor, but you can get over that with maxing out your gun depression, or just overall finding haul down positions and avoiding getting your hatch hit. Now, starting off, first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the engine here. 950 horsepower overall. It's, you know, a big, strong engine. It's also a very big engine. Likes to get hit a lot. 14.62 power to weight. 14.62 helps you hit your top speed pretty quick. Uphills, you're looking at about maybe 70% of the, the top speed consistent. And top speed of 36.3 and reverse speed of 12. Honestly, it's not the most mobile thing in your garage. Or if it's not in your garage, I highly recommend to get it but it handles extremely well. Now, coming over to the gun here, this gun, it, it's, it, it's, it doesn't really pack a punch, but what it does have is a reload. 4.71, and that's with fully trained crew, brothers in arms, gun rammer, improved ventilation, along with a premium consumable for the extra 10% to all bonuses and all stats. So, getting that reload down to there, at 4.71 allows you to take a lot of shots. However, there's only 50 rounds inside this tank, so you do go through them quite a bit. So, you know, take it a little bit easy on pulling that trigger too much and make sure that you get every single shot to go through. Other than that, gun dispersion, 0.32, fantastic. Aiming time, 2.3, really good. It is a very pinpoint gun, and it, it's just wonderful. And just to put the icing on top, 10 degrees of max gun depression, 20 degrees of elevation, just solid. You know, most of the British guns are. The 20 quarter pounder is just fantastic. Jumping over to the tracks, 26 degrees of rotational speed, 1.1 on hard, 1.3 on medium, and 2.3 on soft. You're going to be noticing a real big difference on that soft terrain, but with off-road driving, clutch braking, just to help soften the impact, can help out a lot. Now jumping over to the turret, 380 view range. It's not exactly the highest. It's average is like 390 to 400 inside of tier eight. So that 380, you are a little bit behind compared to the most, but you make up for it in your capabilities of being haul down and your fire rate. Now 32 degrees of rotational speed. That's going to really help you out against light tanks, especially with the traverse speed of the tracks at 26 degrees you're going to be able to keep yeah you'll you'll be able to stay on target for quite some time especially if you're like me and you like to run 105 octane so yeah lots, lots of fun there radio range 750 that is primarily assist damage communication for the team but we will get into that into a later date possibly after december 8th after the big update hits everyone is stoked about the big update i can't wait to see all of those maps to come back pearl river Westfield, there, there's a lot of them to go over, but I'm, I'm not going to go over them here. <laughs> All right, so your standard rounds inside this, you're looking at 226 base armor pin. They are AP, which means that they readjust by 5 degrees on initial impact. They travel at 1,020 meters. They have some pretty good travel speed. And then the APCR inside this vehicle, which is your premium rounds, they, they cost quite a bit to fire, especially with the reload. You don't expect to make money if you decide to fire nothing but premium out of these. Uh, you will struggle to make more than maybe 10,000 to 20,000 a match. But trade-off is 258 standard penetration. They're, they're really good. Up against tier 10s basically helps level the playing field, giving you the standard pin of most of the tier 10 heavies. So instance, the T11 OE5 with its 258 armor pin, you'll be matching and possibly be able to go through the same targets he does with the same penetration. Now, the premium rounds do travel at 1,275. They are fast, and they hit hard. Another thing is, this is a British tank. Your ammo rack is in the front right whenever people are facing you, so try and keep that covered as much as you can. There is no ammo in the back of the turret, but if they can go through the front of the turret on basically the thickest part of the armor, yeah, that's, that's just if they go through it. Now, jumping into the armor here, 254 in your front cheeks in the front, and then it slowly starts to drop, 203 on the sides, and then 152 up near the top, and then your top plate on this is 130, which, 
130, it's not exactly the most angled armor at 130, but the second you get your gun depression maxed out, that top plate is impenable. Almost nothing can go through that. Your hatch is 127, but then again, once you max out your gun depression, your hatch is almost barely visible, and they might be able to scrape it. Now, here's the downfall to the Paladin. The 111 armor on the forehead, I like to call it the forehead, if you are head-on against somebody and they're just firing AP rounds directly into your, your face, they're, they're going to go through that. And occasionally, you're going to run into some Tier 9s that they're just going to load nothing but premium and go through your cheeks without a problem. But, you know, this is not a brawling tank at all. The Action X is more of a ridgeline fighter, long-range, mid-range. The reload rate allows you to get in close and handle that close fight. But don't rely on it too much. Now, 76 millimeters of the lower plate, it's not going to hold up against much. Against tier 6s and tier 7s, it might hold up really well. Now, the side armor. The side armor in this, I absolutely love the side armor. 50 millimeters allows you to side scrape, pull out, take pop shots. No problems there. You can't be overmatched by 120s. Um, 150 millimeters might be able to go through this armor. So getting overmatched by, let's say, 60TP, uh, 705A, or any of the big dogs like T95, and anything that has a bigger than 150 millimeters will possibly overmatch your side armor. Now, in the front, you got 44 millimeters right here, which can be overmatched by 150s without a problem, and possibly even some 14s to maybe even 130 millimeter rounds. But still extremely solid you know it got to rely on that gun depression as much as you can now other than that there there's not really much to go over on this tank it's got a pretty decent amount of spaced armor on the sides it's got the uh hash protection 14 millimeters just really helps you out so i got a good match for you guys today let's just go ahead and jump right into it forge forwards I, I can't pronounce it today today's been one of those days that just yeah reading is out the window trying to pronounce stuff is out the window but nah eh, you know what, what is it thursday yeah it's thursday it's almost the end of the week all righty so on this map there's a lot of positions to go to we are top tier this is looking like a really good matchmaking and, well, on Forge, fo Forge, yeah, we're, we're done trying to pronounce it. We're just going to go out this map, problem solved. <laughs> my consistent viewers will know, yes, today's an off day. Don't worry about it. However, my gameplay is not off today. I'm happy about that part. So I like to switch up my gameplay on this map. You know, occasionally I'll take the top right path heading down the B line over to like probably B8, B7. Or sometimes we'll take the heavy route down there, J5, and just like to go brawling. But occasionally, I like to hit F5 and just shoot across. And at the very beginning of this match, I was like, you know what, Let, where, where can I go to play and be one of the most effective heavy tanks that I can be with my rate of fire? And originally, I wanted to go up that right path, but then I thought about it. I'm like... There's a position I saw a while back that I really wanted to try out. You know, I've tried it out a couple of times. It just didn't really work out too well. But right here, this house, probably one of the best houses in the game in my opinion. Uh, pull up, rely on that 50 millimeters of side armor, and just easy shots all the way down. And the reload with that 4.71, 4.67, sorry, I lied. I'm, I'm, I'm 0.5 off, 0 0.05 off. You know, just showing off the DPM in this tank. This tank has got some crazy DPM with an alpha of 230 damage per shell, 4.677 second reload. It's it's just really solid tank. You know, brawling. You're not going to stand much in a match in brawling head-to-head -head fights. You'll struggle with those. But already within the first minute and a half, we're up to 1,128. Along with a little bit of spot assist at 171. 
fired off six shells. As I said, you're you're limited with the amount of ammunition that you have inside this tank. But other than that, it, it just holds up fantastic. It's great. Kind of trying to, you know, take a pop shot, trying to snap shot, use the auto lock feature, and it just it didn't want to agree with me. So I decided to just say, hey, I'm just gonna aim in, no problem. Trying to hit the ammo rack on the low black right underneath the turret there. Scorpion coming over, just abusing people with that fire rate. Already looking at 2,113 damage. And right there we took two shots from the uh, tier 7 Japanese medium and the Scorpion G. So pushing up, trying to you know get them to bait a shot, shoot me, come on. But the overall fire rate of this tank, it's just fast. Stupid fast. Like, uncomfortable fast. <laughs> you know, I, I've never had a moment in this game where I didn't know that I would have problems shooting people because I'm shooting too quick. You know, it, it requires a lot of focus inside the match and readjusting consistently inside these kind of tanks with their fire rates that they have. Uh, for instance, the Captured King Tiger, which was probably one of my most recent reviews, that tank held up fantastic inside the matchmaking. Even though it has a debuff turret compared to most, or it's just been, over the years, power creeped. Its fire rate honestly makes up for it. Same thing about the Paladin here. I find that with all of its flaws, its fire rate is just through the roof. There is almost no problem with this tank at all, except for maybe a couple issues with the armor. But still, extremely solid. If you got it, wipe the dust off it, take it out for a few matches, and just enjoy it. I know I did. I've been wanting to get a review out in this tank for quite some time because it just it, it's just a fun tank. Pulling it out, I mean, we're not even four minutes into the match and we're already at 3,080 damage. Plus, we are in a position that is questionable, but it is a position that you can get to pretty easily if you spawn on the, uh, I'd say that's west, the west side spawn. You can get here pretty easily. Now, the fire rate that this tank has, it just punishes people. Putting them in the tracks, you can hold people almost permanently until you run out of ammo. I've had that happen a couple of times. You know, the 50 rounds to give you, it doesn't feel like a lot, but its potential damage is almost 10,000 for the entire lobby. So, it holds up well. You know, get in, hit hard, hit fast, get out. Thing is, you don't have the speed to get out, so you're stuck. Now, we're already down to two hit points. <laughs> you know... Not really too worried about the hit points this match. I was just rushing in like, yeah, you know, we're, we're already doing good. We're already past what I wanted to get my hands on. I was like, you know, I'm comfortable with dying at 3,500. And then right here, I thought to myself, I wonder how much more I can squeeze out. You know, just two more shots is all we really need. Try and break that 5k mark. Overall, a lot of the British tanks... Uh, some of the mediums, you know, their they're 20 pounders have got 7 seconds, 6 second reloads. And then you jump in the Paladin, you're slower, you got a little bit more beefy armor. And then the trade-off is, is that you lose your speed, you gain armor, and then you gain fire rate. In my opinion, great trade-off. You also lose a little bit on your view range compared to most of the British mediums. And I'd say the closest tank I can compare this to, I don't I don't really have any. Not Not really. Now, something I would love to point out. Look at the ammo. That is our first premium round of the game. And the only reason why it left our barrel was because we were out of standard rounds. Now, that does happen quite a bit, especially in the Paladin. I honestly enjoy this tank. It, it's just fun. Pull it out, have a blast. Fire rate just everywhere. Feel, feel on like a bully sometimes. So... Paladin. I, I would, if you guys don't have it, get out there and get it. If not, go kill a couple of them. You know, just <laughs> what, whatever's your cup of tea. Now, oh, here's something to share. I started streaming on Twitch. 
So if you guys don't have my Twitch, I, I believe it is linked to my YouTube. That you should be able to look me up from my YouTube and my Twitch. My dedicated streams are going to be Friday and Monday on YouTube. So, yeah, just a heads up. 5,096 damage, 28 shots fired, 27 direct hits, 24 penetrations. Pretty good ratios to me. 226 standard pin. This tank is just absolutely menacing. 258 in the premium. If you guys don't have it, get your hands on it. It is just solid tank. You know, it's a great money maker. And yeah, you know, it, it's fantastic. But back to that subject. Twitch, I'm probably going to be doing it every single day. Just because, you know, I have time to do it. Or if I don't have time to do it, then you won't see me up. <laughs> Other than that, you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed the replay. Um, other than that, I, I got nothing. You know, that this was just... I pulled it out and I'm like, I, I want to get this done today. And lucky for me, I managed to get that recording. And I, I'm going to get it out to you guys. So, let me know what you think. Leave a comment, subscribe. Um, I don't care if you leave a like. Honestly, you know, it, 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 it'd be nice. Other than that, I'm out of here. See you guys in the stream if I'm streaming. You know, let me know if you uh, caught me on this video. I gotta say, get your hands on the Paladin, the Action X. Go have a blast. Till next time, have a good day.